Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. It is everybody's favorite Arena Time. It's apparently time for Warrior. I haven't played Warrior in a long time. Here we go. Uh, that's a tough choice off the bat, because Frothing Berserker is just amazing. But the Dairhorn Hatchling gives you a lot of value. Like, there's a lot of value to taunt in general in this format, I find. Um, as much as I hate Swamp Things, like, neutral, 3, 6 for 5, giving you a super-powered, like, 6, 9 taunt for 5 in your deck, it's hard to measure that as an ability you can, when you play it, and it only happens as a death rattle, but that's pretty solid. I think I have to take Frothing Berserkers. Frothing Berserkers are amazing. They're so efficient. Even though they don't always work out, you still got a 2, 4 for 3. It wasn't, like, bad. Uh, you're bad, you're much better than I used to give you credit to for, but I'd still rather have Boulder Fist over because he smashes things. Um, battle Rage... I'm not taking Iron Hide. It's just lame. Battle Rage should draw me two cards for two mana. I just have to have one damaged minion later in the game. Or I could take the deck hand. There's not that much pirate tech for warriors, but... I don't know. I don't have any weapons yet. Let's just take the Battle Rage. Oh, do I want the Hydra, which probably has an which has anti-synergy with a lot of the warrior damaging stuff things, or a copycat? Man. This thing is huge. It can work out really well. It just sometimes works out terribly. Often... It's a it's an eight eight for five and you're gonna take three or six damage. Man, it's big. This is gonna screw me if I take it. This is really valuable for cop you know, let's let's take the manipulator. I'd rather have the hydra kind of, but I think the manipulator is a safer choice in general. Don't have any dragons yet for this thing. They're amazing. Acolyte of Pain, a lot of synergy if you get the warrior do damage powers, but this guy's also like a Beating machine. I'm gonna take the Blood Hoop Brave. Not as confident in the quality of cards I'm drawing in the arena. Uh, don't think I'm gonna have the 10 cost minions. Uh, I think this guy is crap. Brass Knuckles are the bomb. Brass bomb. Okay, I don't. This guy is really good and he does set up elemental stuff potentially. On the other hand, I have no weapons yet, so I gotta take the Arcanite Reaper. Just solid weapon y goodness. Um, I'm not a big fan of the flesh eating ghoul. I find that he's just too fragile. He's like an inferior version of the frothing berserker. Like, way inferior. So, I'm going to take the giant wasp. It can potentially get rid of a big problem. The fact that it's stealth makes it work out pretty well. Fool's Bane, we know, can be amazing, but it's also a good way to die. That was a problem that I've been having lately with weapon based decks. I'm not liking to have much damage stuff. I like Tidehunter. I like Tidehunter's pretty good. It does technically give me a taunt, although it's not going to work with... A lot of the taunt synergy stuff might be taunt in hand. You're bad. You're not a warrior card. You're fine. Um, I'm not going to have that many Murlocs. I mean, the Murloc I have is only one, even though he's a two-for-one guy. Only one of them is a Murloc. Let's take you. You're a taunt, and you're also pretty solid at doing stuff. You're bad. I'm avoiding you. I'm not killing myself principles, and you technically count as an elemental while still being pretty decent late game for a one drop. Not great. This is a very versatile power. It's tempting, but I don't have that much fatness, so I'm going to take the Thresh on. Thresh on is just like a really good arena card. Uh, you're bad, you're not good, but you're awesome. You're reasonably good anyway, like it's always going to be solid, so I'll take that. Uh, you are no execute. You're taunt, but I don't actually have any taunt synergy. Now, you can just do damage to something directly, but I'm going to go with this guy, because he's technically a minion. He's technically an elemental if that stuff comes up, and hello. Wow. Okay. So, this not that useful. I'm not going to have that many spells. Refre getting extra armor out of it is not that exciting, although he's a 3-4 three, for, for, for 3, which is good. Medivh, it's... It's based on casting spells, and it gives you stuff based on the cost of the spells. I'm not going to have that many... I'm not likely to have that many spells as a warrior, though, and even the ones I take are probably not that expensive. So the thing is definitely King Mosh. 
very, very powerful ability to destroy all damaged minions. Uh, the timing can work out to be amazing or to screw you, but I, I gotta go. I gotta take that choice out of those out of that row there. If I was a different class, Medivh might have won out for sure, or maybe even Beardo. I don't know. If I had a bunch of if I had already a bunch of low cost spells, and if I was a mage or maybe a hunter, but no. Um, Molten Blade is probably the best choice of this row. It might give me a good weapon. So you're a taunt, you're a weapon, and I don't have any deal one damage stuff, and I have a bunch of things that could benefit. I mean, that there's obviously a good synergy with... Uh, I could use it to blow him up. That would be a desperate move, but if there's only one enemy minion, it might be the thing. More likely, use it to buff the Berserker. Whether or not I use it on him, I could use it on something else, and he still gets bigger. Uh, the Blood of Brave obviously goes psycho when you do that. This guy's tough enough to take it and become more dangerous, and you can kill enemy things. It's such a flexible card. I've only, I've got, no, I actually, I have three weapons now. I have a Molten Blade, and a Brass Knuckles, and an Arcanite Reaper. So I don't need that Reaper as badly. I don't have a lot of stuff in the three casting cost range. I don't have the Taunt Synergy. No, I'm going to take the Inner Rage. There will be more taunts. There's just like, Warrior just has a lot of taunt now. Maybe previously didn't. This would give a bunch of things taunt. Again, I don't have actual taunt synergy for the most part. And I actually have a fair amount of taunts in here, so I don't think this is a priority. I think I'm going to take... I'm going to take the upgrade. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to get from Molten Blade, but upgrading Brass Knuckles... It is a three-use weapon, so turning into a four-use three-attack weapon is pretty damn strong, and you get another plus one, plus one, or just getting a, another use out of the Reaper is also pretty good. Hog Rider's a little bit overpriced. He, out, out of all the Hog Riders, there's a reasonable chance of triggering his battle cry, and it's usually useful when you do, but I'm going to take the upgrade. I don't need another... Oh, man, this is not a great roll. I think... I didn't take the Taunt Giver, so that's no use. Do I take another upgrade or protect the king? Again, no taunt synergy as of yet, but this does just give me a... Like, that's some protection. Sometimes. I mean, it's, it's no unleash the hounds, unless you do have, like, taunt-based tech for the most part. I'm going to take another upgrade. Might end up making one of them a crappy, like, one... This is not a great row. You suck. I don't like you. You're fragile and weird. I'm just going to take you, even though you're not the greatest either. I have a fair amount of weapons now. I'm almost not sure if I need him, but am I going to have enough guys to make sure that the Ravisaur Runt gets his thing? You know what? Even if it doesn't get his thing, it's not that terrible. It was still a 2-2 two -two for 2. If it's a 2-2 two -two adapt for 2, then it's awesome. You have to control at least 2 other minions. 2 minions... Not a super hard criteria, especially for a guy that's so cheap. So let's let's try him out. I've literally never played with him. Wow, I wish I could go back and take one of those cards from the previous row, but we'll we'll take the Iron Beak Owl. I might just not get any cards that benefit my taunt stuff, so that's kinda lame. These two guys are from in the old set these were okay arena picks. The new set has much better neutral, high cost minions. Makes me kind of sad if I have to choose one of them. How much do I have for Zubot? Beast, beast, beast. In the high end, I have a bunch of beasts. Beast, 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 beast. We're not. I'm unlikely to get multiple bonuses out of this. There's a reasonable chance I could give plus one, plus one to a beast. I have some expensive stuff already. I think, I think the Zubat is going to get, is more likely to be played, so I'm going to go with that. You know what, I've got a bunch of weapons, Corsair is pretty awesome. Kokoron Elite is really awesome. Fairy Dragon goes, I'm, this is, Zubat is not the same as the Magician. The Magician that gives plus two, plus two, you start looking at like, okay, I should see if I can get some of all those things, so there's a better chance of getting the double bonus. Zubat, I don't actually care that much. I think I'm much better off taking the Kokoron Elite, who's awesome. Ordinary Direhorn, not my favorite. Am I better off with a Brewmaster? A bunch of this stuff must be Battle Cries. Battle Cry. Battle Cry. Is like my entire deck Battle Cry? No, but like a lot of it. 
They're not necessarily the most awesome battle cries, though. They're not really necessarily the ones... Okay, that's a pretty awesome battle cry, but it's not going to work out. And that one doesn't count, because he's not going to have it anymore when he gets bounced. I don't know if this is that powerful. Maybe I should just take this, even though it's not like the ultimate. I don't really want another one of him. I actually have a fair amount of like two cost stuff, although some of them are like executing that. I don't have that many two cost minions. Let's just take the brewmaster. I can use him to get back something with a lot of hit points. Oh, uh, this is a crap row. Why can't I? Uh, wish I could get back something from one of those previous rows. Um. Wow. Wait a second. This guy doesn't count as an elemental. Why does this thing even exist if it doesn't even count as an elemental? Like it's already set. Whatever. We're, we're just taking the knight. Fine. And final card. This guy's super strong if you get the Murlocs. Do I have the Murlocs though? I have hard. I got. I took like one Murloc. I saw three or four, but I did not take them. Uh, so he's just a five four for four in this deck. Five four beast for four. This, on the other hand, is a four eight taunt with the power. I gotta take this. Molten Giant used to be awesome when it cost twenty, but now it's just you. You've got to be so low to get it. Like you've got to be at five health before he's free. If you're at ten health. He's an 8-8 for 5 that you couldn't cast earlier. Like, no, he's, he's just bad now. I don't know what the right level was. 25 was, like, overboard when they were adjusting his casting cost. We'll take the Drake. Uh, I'm not sure about this deck. It's got okay weaponage. It's got some okay taunt stuff. It didn't get any of the good things to go with taunt, though. Like the, uh, whatever, the smuggling card that gives you plus 3, plus 3 to a taunt minion in your hand. That's really what you're looking for when you're taking all these taunt guys. Because that thing's awesome. <coughs> I think the war... I, now that I think of it, the I think the warrior card that gave plus two, plus two to all your taunt minions, I think that might have got pulled out of the arena. When there was a list of cards they were taking out of the arena, and like, some of them were like, okay, you're... That's like a terrible card in the arena that should that no one's ever going to pick to take that out. Some of them were like, oh, they're taking that out because it's too strong, because they're trying to adjust things. I couldn't figure out if they took out that one because it was bad or too strong. I think it was actually both. I think it was bad most of the time, and if it wasn't bad, it was just too strong. I think you gave plus two, plus two to all your taunt minions. I don't want any of those cards in my starting hand. Please give me some two-cost minions. Nope. That's not going to help. I may be playing upgrade just to smash like those idiots. I don't have a good turn two play. I guess if he makes a one one, then I'll play the upgrade and kill it. Oh, he made a bunch of one ones. Apparently, I should have played this last turn. Oh well. Um, wow. Let's save that, but now let's let's just start killing him. It's not a very good turn, but it's better than nothing. Just gonna be like one use left by the time I get to this. Yeah, whatever. We must Buffing him? The sun well. Is it worth silencing him? Probably not. On the other hand, what else am I gonna do with my turn? Uh, racial shards, something. We. Maybe save my weapon? Do that, armor up. Next turn, play this guy. Yeah, maybe. I wonder. I to meet you. I'm going to save my owl for something more important. I, I meant to freeze the 2-2 two -two so that if my opponent traded it would hurt him more. I don't know why I like I just I wasn't paying much attention so I automatically froze the bigger one which is dumb. <sighs> so dumb. But oh well. I have an axe to fly. Yes, I'm gonna kill that one one because it reduces the chances of my opponent be able to kill this easily. Although I don't really think it's long for this world. God damn it. He does it in the correct order. He enrages it with his own attack, so he doesn't have to take the extra. 
See, that might not have worked out as well if I had done the other thing the right way, but whatever. Guess I could make it a two attack weapon and kill that piece of crap. That'd be an accomplishment. This guy's just going to die to that anyway. You know what? If it's just going to get killed by that thing, screw it. I'm just going to waste this guy. Now he doesn't have a target to buff. If he had like a Blessing of Kings or something. And then, so if he kills this guy, then he's not killing the Naga Corsair. Like with his sword, I mean. And if he doesn't, then, well, whatever, I've got guy. I would think he's going to kill the guy. Yeah. That's fine. I don't think we're doing any craziness with that. We're just going to buff our weapon and kill the one, too. For some reason, I was thinking I had to target that. I don't know why. Like, my, my mouse hand was just, like, waiting to, like, target myself or something, but no. I think you should do three damage to this with your one ones and then like not finish them. No, see that's not the same. Doing it wrong. It's actually a terrible board situation based on my hand. My hand is not good for this. Oh, that's lovely. That means I don't even have it. Like, I've got no worthwhile play at all. We're gonna waste his power and armor up. Like I can't even just. I could use this to draw one card, but that's terrible. He's not going to have any damage minions for this guy, although I can use this as an impromptu execute when I get up to him. Whoa, that's big guy. Ow. Not even going to kill my guy, you're just going to beat my face in. Well, silencing, silencing him became worthwhile all of a sudden, so that's nice. That just killed such a ludicrous amount of stats. I'm proud of myself. Um... I'm just going to kill him with that. I could kill, I could hit one of the other guys and I'd get to draw another card, but it's not worth it. Like, I've just got to kill that guy. Plus one, plus one, and armor up! Okay, I'm so glad I saved the owl for that Stegadon, though. That, that was a big swing. Ow. It's unfortunate. Also unfortunate. Gonna be a five. To, yeah, I figured. God damn. Of course, can't keep the damage guy. Do I waste this thing? I think I do, because that five two is gonna mess me up. This is it's a total waste of this guy's power, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because I'm in a dire situation that I mostly just need to get out his hugeness. have been raptorized or something it looks like a t-rex but that was like a raptor looking attack that's not good king mosh can't take much of that discovering a secret also not good if it reses your ogre at one hit point i'm going to be dead from it so that's not great now now so my plan currently um uh, that's kind of i can't do everything at once so you're going to play the Frothing Berserker, as nice as it would be to have the ogre. I'm going to do this. It's going to come back at one hit point, and I'm going to die. Or just get down. Oh, I'm also going to die from that. Okay. That was not exactly the plan. I'm at 12 health. My opponent has easily enough damage. I've got to draw something amazing. I mean, technically, I could survive with the armor up, but that's not going to morph right away. I can't use this now. Oh, my God. Well, wait, I armor up. This this doesn't save me any damage in the short short term, though. It doesn't. So I'm taking 6 plus 6. I'm dead if I don't armor up, so I guess i got to armor up. Man, I don't know if there's any weapon this could turn into that would save me. The uh, True Silver Champion would help a little bit, but I'm almost certainly dead. My opponent just needs 2 more damage. Oh, look at that. More than 2 damage. That was terrible. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like my hand was not good for most of that game. Is it a general problem with my deck? I don't think my opponent's deck was super good. I do think I would have been in a better position if I had just gone and played the upgrade first turn instead of thinking, oh, maybe I can save it and use it on something else later. Or, I mean, he could have played not any 1-1s, one -ones, but the way it went, I really wish I had put it out first turn. Oh, well. Well, that's off to a great start. One loss already for Warrior. Not that much of a surprise. What do I think this deck is worth? I'm not, I don't have that much faith in this deck. It's not that bad, though. I feel like I should be able to break even with the deck. We're going to call this a three-win deck, which pretty much any deck that is not terrible, I'm going to consider a three-win deck. You should be able to get... Well, I should be able to get three wins in the arena with all the experience I have. I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to find out next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.